if you like this potato green pea paneer masala indian style please like comment share and subscribe the channel to make this beautiful recipe you need 400 grams diced paneer lightly fried or sauteed or you can take tofu too two diced potatoes coriander powder 2 tablespoon turmeric powder half tablespoon tomato ketchup 2 tablespoon ginger powder half tablespoon garam masala powder 1 tablespoon and 4 tablespoon soaked cashew nut you have to paste the cashew nut later on cumin seeds half tablespoon and few bay leaves white cardamom and cloves for tempering and one and a half cup frozen or fresh green pea if you want you can make this with tofu fry the paneer cube fry potato now fry the cumin seeds add all the temperings like bay leaf white cardamom and cloves with cumin seed let it fry properly don't let it burn now mix water and dilute the ginger paste ginger powder ketchup turmeric powder and coriander powder all together it helps you to enhance the taste and if you dilute and add it to your curry the spices will never burn and you will get a very nicely colored gravy now you cover it for 10 minutes in low medium flame in 10 minutes it will cook properly and the oil you can see over the gravy cook this recipe in medium flame or low medium flame now add the fried potato which you kept aside add green peas I have taken frozen green peas if you have you can add fresh green peas too. If you don't eat paneer or Indian style cottage cheese, you can make this recipe with tofu. It will taste equally good. Now add the cashew nut paste. Mix it properly. Incorporate everything properly. Keep it little slurry because after it is done when the dish will be in normal room temperature after you finish the cooking it will dry the gravy will dry little bit. Now cover it for 15 minutes in low flame. After 15 minutes add some warm water. Add the paneer cubes incorporate it again properly in this recipe you don't need any onion and garlic so it is completely vegetarian recipe add salt and sugar according to your taste mix them properly
I always use stevia powder. If you want, you can use that too. Add the garam masala powder or Indian curry powder. Mix it again. Cover it for 5 minutes in low flame. The final product is here. Garnish with some coriander leaves. Thanks for watching.